In Chapter 1 of Defense of Anarchism, Robert Wolfe describes the concept of authority. According to Wolfe, authority is the right to command and to be obeyed. Although many people think of power and authority as one and the same, they are not. Power is the ability to make one do something, not the right. Wolf gives the example of a thief versus the government. A thief has the power to make you give up your money by using force to coerce you. However, the government has the right to tax you because they have authority over the state. In both situations, you have to choose to give up your autonomy or comply with the command. In the, in the situation involving the thief, you most likely will obey him or her because the consequence of not obeying will surpass the damage of giving up what he or she wants. You may choose not to pay your taxes while knowing you may face jail time as a result. In reality, however, Wolf believes that no one has the right to supreme authority. Everyone has their own autonomy or free will. According to Wolf, one may find it necessary to give up autonomy because it is in your best interest. For example, a professor does not have legitimate authority over his or her students, but generally, students abide by the syllabus because it is in their best interest to, in order to be successful in the class. Therefore, one is still responsible for what he or she does, even though they are following the command of someone else. Someone who is actually autonomous sees nothing as a command from a person of authority, but under circum cer certain circumstances a suggestion that they would have done regardless of who suggested it.